Okay, so a lot of you may know me for having my main profile and basically having everything there that I could ever have. Every armor set, every weapon, every pet in the game, 3 billion coins just in my purse and a bunch of items worth billions of coins also. Well, I've had this profile now for over a year. I maxed out almost every skill. So to be quite honest, all I ever do is run around my island thinking of what I can do to progress. And no way am I going to fish for hours of my life or even forage. So what else could I possibly do? Something that would make me actually have to do stuff and have things to show for myself. So I've decided to start a brand new profile. Not Iron Man because I have an Iron Man profile, but a normal profile. Here I will not be able to accept any contraband, any free dungeon carries and I'm not able to put up auctions. I am though allowed to still use Bazaar and Auction, but I'm only allowed to put items up on Auction that I use in bin and sell them for a normal price that they go for. I wanted to do this so I can upload a lot more often and I'll still have stuff to do, maybe stream once a while too. Also, I thought if I'm starting out and I make a lot of money fast, I would be able to help out some of the new players that are still in early game. So yeah, without further ado, enjoy. Alright, so let's do this. Leave all this behind and let's start a new profile. Empty profile slot. Click that. Classic profile. Watermelon. Let's go. Watermelon sugar high, you know? Right, so we're first going to start off by chopping this tree down, I guess, to get over there. But of course, I want to switch over to my 40k pack. Here we go. I'm almost at 40k subs, so if you want to subscribe and get this texture pack, then that'd be nice. So what I'm aiming to do is unlock Bazaar as quick as possible. Just because that's the main thing everyone goes for when we start this out. Right, let's get over there. Be bridge across. Come on, this is Bed Wars. You've got to get across as quick as possible. There we go. Say hello to the minion. It's got nothing in. Never has anything in. I went up the village. Yo, this is all change. What? Even the bank? Never even noticed that. So I'm going to go to an private lobby, I guess. I'm going to start collecting wheat. So my aim is to unlock Bazaar as fast as possible. So you get enough to get 100 coins. Or is it 100? I'm not really sure. I think it's 100. Let's go over here. We've got 75 already. Just go into the hub. Sell all this. And I'm going to get myself a rookie out. It's only 10 coins. And then I'm going to go over to Jamie right here. And I'm going to get my rogue sword. Let's get a bit of speed. Because it's really slow. Let's go over and let's get some more wheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... I'm going to get farming 7 first. Because as you know, you need farming 7. Foraging 7 and mining 7 to unlock Bazaar. So that's what I'm going to do really quick. So this rookie hoe, why you need it is because crops broken with this hoe have a 50% chance to drop a seed. Which is really good. Straight off the bat, I'm going to make myself a farming talisman. There we go, that's one talisman already. Alright, so I'm about to hit farming 7, there we go. Let me go see how many coins this has made me. So I have 2,875. Now I'm going to need to get Foraging 7. So I'm going to get this one, the Promising Axe. Basically what this does, gains a higher enchanting level every time you break 50 blocks. So if I break 50 logs right now, it's going to put it in efficiency 1 on my axe. And there we go, Foraging 7. I'm done with that now. Not much you need to farm to get Foraging 7 actually. <laughs> That's like two seconds on a normal profile. And that's just took me at least 10 minutes to do. Now I need to go get mining done. All right, so I'm mining three now. I think I can go in there anyway. Off to the gold mine. All right, mining five, mining six. There we go, mining seven. Now I can go to the hub. Let's sell everything that I have. There we go, 4K coins. And then I can sell the rest over here. All right, so what my plan is next, I do need to get money. To get talismans and stuff like that. So what I'm going to have to do is with my rookie hoe, I'm going to have to enchant it. Telekinesis, there we go. Enchanting two. How much is harvesting five? 25 levels. Right, probably going to have to buy another harvest stack maybe. Now I can get harvesting five. Nice. So the harvesting five will grant 62.5 farming fortune. So I'll get a lot more with this. All right. Go straight into my inventory and look how quick I'm getting stuff. Way faster than 
before when I first started off. So I'm going to farm here for a little bit because I want to get enough money to get a few, just a few talismans and enchant them. Well, reforge them. All right. The talismans here that I can actually buy is probably going to be this village one, zombie and skeleton. Maybe this mining one and then I'll wait to buy these two. So I think I can buy these two for now. Yeah, I'm going to go get to 5k coins and then I'm going to go buy them ones. All right, there we go. Buy this one and this one now. So we've got five talismans already. I need to reforge them to get a bit of strength on them. But yeah, I need to buy this one and this one now. So I need 20k coins and then I need to reforge them. So I need about 30k coins. While farming in the hub, it's best to get the potatoes and the nether wart as well because these sell for a lot more than just wheat. All right, there we go. I've sold more nether wart and potatoes. I have 20k now, so I can get this one and this one. So that's all the talismans in here. I have seven already. I need a little bit more money to reforge them all to a decent reforge that'll give me a bit of strength or quick damage or something like that. I have 5.6k now. I'm gonna go try. I'm gonna try and reforge them now. So zombie talisman not getting a good one forceful yes there we go forceful yes have i got enough for this one forceful let's go just need a little bit more to reforge these three now so now i'm gonna look at auction really quick i'm gonna go to talismans lowest right now so the lowest bid I'm gonna go on bin only so this one zombie ring you need zombie slayer 2 it's 8k so I can't be getting that one. Lava talisman, that could be good. Could grind 20k for that one. All right, so the shark tooth necklace. This is a, a rare one, so that'd be good. 42k and then the speed ring for 43k. I need to go and farm a bit more to get these two talismans and the lava one, I'm thinking. So that's around 100k for that. All right, so it's been about literally an hour. It would have took me a lot longer because basically i came to the auction house and i was like what can i try and flip really quick so as you can see i bought an ender chest plate for 50k i resold it for 65k because that was the lowest someone put it up for 15k lower and it sold instantly so that was an instant 15k then again i tried to buy more bought another pair of ender boots and they sold for 74k i can show you right now the lowest pants are 60k 60k and then it goes up to 74k and people were putting them up for 50k really low so i could flip them really easy so now i've got 100k coins and i'm gonna be buying some more i did go ahead and unlock redstone collections so i could get the accessory bag and i got the godly affinity ring because i was farming nether wart oh there's a gravity talisman now i'm gonna buy that one because it's only 4k give me this one yes okay that's one 5k quick and easy talisman right there we got a lava talisman for 20k there's a shaded shark tooth uncommon but i kind of want to go for this one they've gone up 58k someone's bought them all i don't know what else i was gonna get even though it's gone up like 15k i am gonna buy it then i'll have 24k left i'm gonna go reforge these three and then i can use that 25k for something else so we've got up to now 11 talismans and one of them is rare so that's really good next what i want to do is work on combat so i did have to kill a few of the lapis zombies and i got to combat too what i'm gonna do is go over here i'm gonna get an undead sword and i'm gonna get 30 levels to get smite 5 on it there we go smite 5 but yeah i'm gonna go work on combat get a bit more money if i can there you go combat 3 and yeah um start of the game is a big grind but i do want to get as much done in episode one here we go nice combat 12 so i've got access to the end now and also ender armor so as you can see i have i've been killing lapis zombies i'll show up a screenshot on screen right now i got about five six pieces in the span of like a minute but yeah i'll show you the bestiary Jerry, deep caverns I'm Lapis Zombie 4, almost 5, and Pigman 4. I killed a few of the slimes and the minor skeleton and zombies. I managed to get one piece of minor armor, which is a chest plate. So I'm going to sell that for 4k. I'm going to sell these boots for 1k, boots for 1k, and 
the chest plate for 2k oh and this helmet for 1k so yeah i managed to get a full set and more so i can sell that so i'm gonna take all the money i got out 200k 208k i managed to get and if i can get any ender pieces for 50k that'd be good let's see there's one for 70k right now you know what i'm just gonna take them because they've already got fierce on no someone's took them oh 60k for the helmet no leggings can i get the leggings no these people sniping them no they're gone so i'm just gonna have to sit here and wait for them to drop to around 60 or 50k each because i don't have enough to buy them at 70k yet oh 60k for chest plate yes 50k for boots come on yes mm. okay i just bought fierce ender leggings but they've got yeah they've got the fierce thing on it but they were 80k because there's none going for less all i need now is the helmet and to put fierce on this if i can to make me use too much come on mm, no rip all right right what i need to do now is i'm gonna put this on Ooh, yes the health that's gonna double in the end but yeah i'm gonna need to farm for a bit more because i'm gonna need about another 60k something like that and there's a week contest soon so i'm gonna be able to get a lot of money from that all right as you can see in chat i've just got a silver medal and with all of that i got around 70 70k but if i go to here jacob there we go another silver medal and looks like i'm halfway now to getting a gold medal now all i need a end a helmet right i've just bought boots for 20k and the next one on there well i kind of want to switch them out so they're better but i can put these up now for i'll put them up for 76k there we go there we go someone bought them nice all right so with that flip i've just got quite a bit of money so now i'm at 245k i'm gonna wait to try and get a cheaper end of helmet than 84k because that's ridiculous i just bought end leggings let's see yeah i bought them for 60k what's the lowest on here is it really 94k yo someone actually bought the leggings let's go so we went from 245k i think to 275k we're doing good flips here all right i just bought a helmet for 79k because yeah there's no cheap ones right now and i can't be bothered just waiting <laughs> let's see i don't want to use too much here fierce nice Pff. nice look at our stats we've got almost 400 health 240 defense now all we need is a good sword that's 200k and we can teleport with it all right well i'm gonna go farm until i can get an aspect of the end all right so I've just finished the last inventory full before 200k and the lowest sword is 199k all right no it's not 105k bro i knew this is happening <laughs> i knew this would happen 205k there we go aspect of the end i can only tp twice 